So after picking up my pace at Mount Panorama with the new Porsche Cup car, I kind of found that the car didn't really like taking curbs. And so I thought it was going to be like this for all the other tracks as well. But then I saw one of the comments which kind of went against this. So maybe I jumped to a conclusion a little bit too quickly. So then I decided to actually try the car on a different track. So I went to Kailami, which is known for that nasty sausage curb towards the end of the track. Which if you usually hit it with a GT3 car, you're going to end up off the track and in the sand. So I drove a lap with the Porsche Cup here and I quickly found that you can use the curb. So here is the new line to take if you're driving the Porsche Cup at Kailami. I thought I'd make a side by side comparison here with the GT3 on the left and the Cup on the right. Just play it in slow motion here. You can see the Cup completely eats the curb, whereas the GT3 just, just can't take it. And that's mostly just because like the, the GT3 is it's a lot stiffer and it kind of spreads that load across the whole car when it hits that bump and the entire car lifts off the ground. Whereas the Cup, it just absorbs it on the right, right side and then comes back down and, and places itself back on the road nicely. Looking at it from the driver's point of view here, when we smash that curb with the cup car, it's a bit bumpy, but we land back on the road quite nicely. It's quite smooth compared to the GT3 here. As you can see, when we smash the curb, it's a lot more violent. The car just completely lifts off the ground and lands quite abruptly, sending us off the track. Looking at it from the first person view of the GT3, we hit the car, we can see the car just, as soon as it hits the curb, it's reluctant. It's, it's got no wheels on the ground. The car's no longer doing what we want it to. So basically, here's your GT3 racing line around this curb, and then your Porsche Cup racing line. You can eat the curb quite safely. And these cars, they tend to eat these curbs quite hard in real life as well, shown by this clip right here. Anyway, I just thought that was cool. On ACC, curbs have always been a no-go, so it's nice to have a car that we can use to actually play around with them a bit. We did have the previous gen Porsche Cup car, which I didn't drive too much of, but I remember that thing couldn't handle the curbs at Monza, which didn't seem right because they could in real life. So it's nice to have a car that can play around with the curbs a bit. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to check out simrace247.com for all kinds of latest news and updates of sim racing. I'll catch you guys in the next video.